All right. What is good, everybody? Welcome. Welcome to the Spiritual War Room. We're here to do some story time readings. This is going to be a pick a pile. Um, I put, I shuffled the cards and this is what came out for each of these piles. So whichever uh, card calls to you, um, you can go with that. You can pick one or you can pick multiple. Who knows? I'm going to give you the message behind the cards and then we're going to pull, see if that's just a message that you needed to hear or if it has something to do with the stories we're about to pull, okay? So the otter is going to be pile one, the butterfly will be pile two, and the octopus will be pile three. All right, guys, I will put the timestamps down below in the description box. But before we jump into this, don't forget to show me some love, like, share, subscribe. Remember, guys, sending me good energy only means you're going to get good energy back to you, all right? So, all right, guys, pick your piles and I will see you guys at your readings. All right, pile number one, if you chose the otter, this is your reading. So with the otter, what this message is telling you is that it's time to be more playful. Like the embrace the playfulness of, of a child, no matter your age, okay? So as you get older, you tend to um, just wanna, you have to behave and act a certain way so um, otherwise people won't respect you but spirit wants you to embrace that playfulness okay this doesn't mean be immature this just says you know it's okay to be silly goofy and just play okay <laughs> I hear spirit saying you don't have you can take the stick out your ass okay you can stick take the stick out your ass um, yeah so when you're able to embrace the playfulness, that playfulness that life has to bring, um, it opens you up to um, the excitement of new adventures that life brings, okay? So Spirit wants you to really um, get yourself ready. <laughs> get yourself ready because there's going to be some changes, okay? Um, when, you're in, when you're in balance with your Otter Spirit, you're you're happy you're full of love and you like you feel like you need nothing okay so spirit wants you to to be in in balance when you're not okay so if you're out of balance with your outer spirit um you're gonna make a lot of excuses you're gonna be just like oh my here we go again, you know, you're really negative and gloomy and just unhappy. Um, <clears throat> all the, yeah, this is like a wet blanket <laughs> spirit, you know, if when the otter's in reverse, it's just, that's the, the feeling. So if you feel like you're out of balance and you're, you're really, um, pessimistic and just negative spirit wants you to get out and move exercise dance celebrate your victories and the joys of life because even when we have you know heart our hardships when we're going through our hardships um there's still a lot to celebrate okay and that's what spirit wants you and is inviting you to do okay so that is the message that the otter has for you we're going to pull some of these index cards and see what story wants to come up for you. Okay, Pile 1? All right, Pile 1 right here. I'm already seeing. Life is beautiful. Okay? Life is beautiful. And at, at the bottom, we have stay out of the kitchen. It's getting hot. So there could be a lot of, like I said... A lot of negative stuff going on around us um, if it's not your if it's not your problem if it's not your issue don't involve yourself in it okay all right so let's let's see what story wants to come out for pile number one we have clean out your space New things and hiding mail. We have 
life is beautiful and looking for my forever home at the bottom. Let's see if anything else wants to come in or come out. Oh, they keep falling. I don't know if I'm going to keep them. Let's look at them. We have Hypocrite. We have Tired. School of Hard Knocks, Twitter, and Can't Make You Love Me. Hmm. <clears throat> like I said, I don't know if I'm going to keep these. But I'm just, I might keep them out to the side. Alright, so let's look into this. Clean out your space, new things. Did I see looking for my forever home? I don't know why that one came to my mind. No, it wasn't in. Maybe I okay, never mind. So somebody somebody could be getting a new home. Cle somebody could be cleaning out where they currently live. Yeah. I'm not keeping these, but yeah, new new beginnings beginnings it's taking a chance yeah there's a lot of this leap away okay so something something is coming to an end okay um it could be it could be poverty clean out your space you could be moving homes you're getting new cars though ending the end of poverty the end of hard times you could have been waiting for this and you weren't getting any news because someone was hiding your mail mm-hmm so you were juggling a lot, you know, again, with the, the Five of Pentacles poverty. Um, you could have just been trying to maintain, just trying to survive, waiting for some kind of message, but it was never, it wasn't coming because someone is hiding your mail. We have the Wheel of Fortune, end of poverty, good things are coming. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. You're gonna have good. Oh my God! Cleaning out your space. You're getting. You could be getting a new job. You could be getting a new job. So if you're if if you chose pile number one, and spirits inviting you to embrace this otter spirit, it could be. This could be. Um, Maybe this is the story of an I, I don't know why I'm getting like another person. You're watching this. Or someone's mm, I, okay. I'm gonna pull away from that. Cause I'm I don't know who's watching this reading and who it's for, who they're watching it for. But um, this person is coming into beautiful things. This person learned how to stay strong, right? Stay playful, trust in God that God was going to make everything okay. This person did struggle through um, hard times financially, but that's coming to an end. This person had a lot on their plate and they were putting in the work, right? This person was putting in the work, but what wasn't seeing results um, with this knife here, I don't know, it could be, I don't know if it was family or who was hiding their mail. They weren't seeing results because people were hiding this from them. But that shit is over, man, that shit is over. So Spirit's inviting you to be playful and take a chance. Spirit doesn't want you to be, um, you know, reckless and careless with your decisions. You have to have clarity on, you know, practical planning. You have to make a plan. You can't just say, you know what, I fuck this job. I quit and say, you know what, <laughs> I'm getting Seinfeld when he, when George and, um, 
George quits his job. He's like, I hate you. I quit. And the, he just, you know, he burnt that bridge and then he hadn't thought about it, <laughs> you know, so he didn't think, he didn't think it through. And so him and Jerry are in the apartment trying to figure out what he, he can do. He's like, I can be a marine biologist. I can be an architect. I can be, um, a sports announcer and Jerry's like well they give those jobs to ex ball players and he's like well that's not fair so you need a practical plan you can't just um, jump into something without thinking things through because it can put it can put you in this really tough tough spot you know you don't have to go through all those hardships if you have a practical plan so whoever whoever did this kind of went in it into whatever they went into they probably jumped into something. Um, they struggled financially, but they they put in the work, man. If you're you'll get results if you put in the work, and you're not <clears throat> sabotaging another person, you know. So yeah, good things are coming for this person. Maybe so that's why spirit's inviting you um, to embrace this energy to to take chances to be playful but to be smart about it you know be smart don't allow your logical thinking to kill your your creative you know spirit they have to work together okay all right so clean out your space somebody somebody's um somebody's getting something's been balancing out for someone where they were penny pinching whatever investment they made it's starting to take root. This person has been waiting for this day. Um, when these secrets come out, this person may move away from these people. But, okay. So new things. What can you tell us about new things? Put up boundaries. Because you're gonna you're gonna be in this oh new things. You could be getting a new partner. <laughs> you spirits telling you that you're gonna have to put up some boundaries to people who wanna celebrate with you. The people who wanna celebrate with you are get are some of the people who were trying to stop you and slow you down. You're coming into like new things maybe you're coming <laughs> maybe it's the emperor this emperor new relationship new mm, well I did see well it could be I don't, it doesn't have to be a um, a love relationship it could be like work because I was getting a lot of you know pentacles take, taking root yeah we're talking about poverty <clears throat> okay. This emperor, whatever, if it's a partnership, romantic or business, it's going to take you out of the, of, of lack and poverty. And it's going to set you up real nice with this queen of pentacles. I heard, I just want, I, unleash, okay, unleash. This emperor wants to unleash you? What is that? Yeah, because you've been cooped up too long. It's time. Your time is now. <laughs> they want to unleash you for what? Sounds kind of aggressive. <laughs> unleash. Mm -mm -mm. What is this? They they want you to feel free. They want you to feel free to create. You know, this person knows that you... Um, they know that you can create. They know you're smart. They know you can balance a lot of the hard, difficult moments in your life and still be able to be cheerful and joyful and you know just 
embrace the joys of life, even in the midst of midst <laughs> of going through really hard times. You were surrounded by snakes. Yeah, you're going to be happy, though, spirits. And you're going to be happy. People, oh my God. Your community, the people that were hiding your mail, they tried to convince you that you had your head in the clouds. That whatever you were doing was not going to be um, successful. Why? Because to make that money, you were working with the devil. That's what people your community was saying they were trying to make you believe that what you were going to do was crazy you were insane for thinking that um you can make this work and to other people they were telling them oh they're only becoming successful because they work with the devil how do they know you're becoming successful because whatever message that you've been expecting they 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 took it and they hit it What can you tell us about this knife? What is the knife about? They wanted to kill your happiness. They wanted to kill your creativity. They wanted to cause you heartache. Because they could have, they, the mail that you got was from this emperor to you. That's what was hidden, the message. Maybe it was a gift of, maybe maybe this emperor sent this queen of pentacles um, money and that's what they were hiding. Maybe it was money, yeah, to keep this person in poverty, struggling. So the knife is like backstab and betrayal with the three of swords. Judgment's being called on these people. Yeah, that partnership is coming in for this person regardless. This th Their job is to create, and this is the partner that is coming in to help them create this. It's this um, high priestess, queen of pentacles, and this emperor. That's who is coming into this partnership. That This, this connection was sabotaged, and whoever sabotaged it, judgments being called on them all right so that this is the backstabbing let's look into this hiding mail yeah they didn't want you to see they wanted you isolated by yourself depressed they wanted you in like a really nasty energy but during this time that you were in this energy or at least they thought they put you in this energy you were healing your heart you were connecting your heart to spirit spirit was he healing your heart you could be having like you could even have like angels and ancestors who who visit you in your in your in your dream state they could be healing you they could be healing you at this time yeah you didn't you didn't know that they're trying to help you to um, heal something so that it, it's easier to to move away so you don't feel guilt moving away from family. I heard you're moving away from like the family you were born into to, to chase your happiness, man. You're pulling away from these people because these people wanted you isolated and alone. They didn't want you feeling free. They didn't want you having love. They didn't want you having this gift that was given to you. They wanted you in this energy of depression and sad, sadness, this, this um, fear. They wanted you in fear. Struggling. Anything anything else for hiding mail? Yeah, new beginnings. New beginnings are coming in. 
they tried to stop this, man. But you, they tried, they tried to, <sighs> man. They knew you were going to be successful. Oh, oh my God. This tower could be good for you. I mean, it's going to be sudden changes, sudden drastic maybe even overwhelming that's why spirit's inviting this person to to embrace the playful energy you know to trust embrace the adventures that life brings because there's going to be a big change What's going to be the outcome for the people who were hiding Pile 1's man? These people who backstabbed Pile 1. What's going to be the outcome for them? The Fool. This is like gambling. Gambling and losing. Painful endings for these people. Okay. Painful endings for these people. They took a chance. They gambled and lost. They tr Spirit was always watching over this person. These people wanted to have this person poor, struggling. They didn't want any... Um, romantic offers to come in for this person so they they made sure that they they hid any kind of communication anything coming in for this person but spirit always had this person protected so whatever they try to send out to this person is returning to whatever these backstabbing family members friends did to this other person it's returning to them they're going to get caught up. Anything else for the... Anything else? going back to school some people could be going back to school some people could be struggling financially how why is going back to school bad like I'm, to get their ideas off the ground yeah they they could be they're oh so spirit how are how are these people gonna be um hit there's there could be there could be multiple people who are gonna end up um always being tight with money it's gonna force one or more of these people to have to go back to school to learn a new skill or new trade um, in order to to start making money to, to get to a more stable place because they're gonna again remember they they wanted to sabotage this other person's finances their romantic offers they didn't want this person to receive any kind of communication any good news so for these other people who did this to pile one it's like they're gonna have to go over starting from the beginning yeah because something came to an end for them so they're gonna have to like start over from the beginning maybe go back to school to get some kind of idea off the ground to become more stable but they're gonna be struggling financially they could be taking a, a financial hit
there's gonna be a blockage to their money it's oh man the tower it's gonna hit their finances hard they're gonna again with that juggling multiple like find trying to um find ways to manage and balance all this craziness you know what are we gonna pay the the light or are we gonna get groceries you know <laughs> But if we get groceries and we don't pay the light, then, you know, the fridge goes out and all our food goes bad and they're trying to figure out what's more important and they're trying, you know, man. It's like. It's something about like, I don't know if this person has kids. Like having to support the children, it gets expensive, right? <clears throat> it's gonna be, it's gonna, it's gonna hit hard because they try to sabotage another person who wasn't doing anything to them. They were just trying to, you know, get ahead in their own life. They weren't trying to do anything um, malicious by trying to take other people down so I can get to the top kind of energy. No, this person kept to themselves, just kept on grinding, grinding, working on themselves, working on their, their own craft and other people were hating on them and, and try to sabotage them. So now they're going to have to start from the beginning, going back to school to get anything, any kind of, um, to be able to make any kind of money because they're going to lose everything. Their, their finances are going to take a hit. It's going to be very devastating for this these people. Wow. So spirit, if if you're the one who did the sabotaging, spirit's inviting you as well to in, embrace that playful energy because you're going to need to be able to find the joy in in the difficult times that you're going to suffer but spirit wants you to be able to reflect and understand why it is that you're going through this this is balance this is justice spirit wants you to remember you have to stay stay strong keep that same energy that you sent to this person <laughs> You thought it was funny when this person was going through difficult uh, times. So, you know, you should be able to find the humor in it when you're going through it. I remember when you thought it was so funny. Knight of Pentacles. Your money could be slowing down. You could be losing money. Romance, um, the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. Money could be slow. Um, you, like, whoever this message is for, it's almost saying, like, money could really slow down for you. Um, if you think ro romantic relationships are going to take off, you know, it's never, never the right one coming in. There's always going to be all these painful endings when it comes to relationships what spirit wants whoever this part is for to know the bet your best option to start getting your your life moving in the right direction just don't even waste time just go back to school stop fucking around because you're if if the longer you wait the longer you're going to prolong um your recovery you're going to you know the moment you start going you go back to school you're you're really starting from from the beginning so if you wait five years to go to school in five years where do you see yourself starting over again okay so spirit says don't waste time make a decision of what it is that you want to do gain clarity of what you want to do and make uh, make the make that call judgments coming in um, there could be a period of 
isolation for this group for playing in this devil energy. So remember, these these people wanted Pile One to feel isolated and alone and financially ruined. So these people are going to be, you know, struggling financially, you know, and they're going to have to be alone. They're going to have to focus on healing themselves and bettering their own lives because they, they're going to go through a lot of, of stuff for this betrayal. So whoever that part was for, Spirit says, don't waste, no, don't waste time. Get going. Okay. All right, pile number one. <laughs> I think I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information on how to contact me if you want to schedule your own personal readings. Okay, guys? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, guys. All right, pile number two, if you chose the butterfly, this is your story time reading. I'm going to start by giving you the message from the butterfly um, spirit. Okay, so the butterfly talks about a period of transformation, okay? This could be in love, your career, or just like your home life. There could be something transforming in those areas of your life. So during the transformation, it can bring... Um, in this period of discomfort so spirit wants you to remember to be patient with yourself um these are like i'm getting like, like growing pains right so you're growing and it in order to grow you know you gotta stretch a little bit so you're having those pains and it's uncomfortable but spirit wants you to you know to surround yourself with people family friends people who support you and will encourage you um, in the best way, you know, allow these people to be that place of comfort and shelter right during this time. Okay. Um, the butterfly card also speaks of maybe if you feel unbalanced, you're, you're really frustrated, just angry spirit wants you to develop, um, a daily routine. So this could be praying, this could be exercising, um, whatever you need to do for yourself, for your, um, mental, spiritual, and emotional health, a, a routine every day at the same time, because you have a lot of stuff that's changing in your life. So having one thing that stays consistent in your, in your routine, in your daily life will help you, um, hopefully balance that out and you will, you'll feel less stressed and able to take on these challenges. Um, be patient with yourself because these changes are necessary for you. Okay. All right. Pile number two. That's what I have as far, uh, for the butterfly message. So let's start and pull, um, the index cards for your story. Right away at the bottom, I, I see the answer is no. It's about to go down. We are talking about transformation. Okay. Let's see what story wants to come out for pile number two. What story wants to come out for pile number two? We have the answer is no again. We have fake news at the bottom. I don't know. I don't know if you're asking a question. We have intellectual property theft. Keep an eye on your money. We have release. Misunderstandings and miscommunication. We have brainwashed. And with this this card with brainwashed, it's like somebody was trying to confuse someone, mix up communication, misunderstandings, communication, miscommunication. Somebody's excited. Okay, let's look at this. We have fake news at the bottom again. The answer is no. 
Page of Pentacles. Someone is trying to balance their money. Keep an eye on your money. Okay. What is the answer is no? What's the answer no to? What? Why is the answer no? This could be a relationship or, or no. Well, I want to say a relationship. No. It could be, but it could be somebody you're in a relationship with. It could be family. It could be a business partner. If you're wondering, can I have success with this person? It's like saying, move away from this. You don't want to have to do that, but you have to move away so if you're like can should i move forward forward with this person it says no release release let's shuffle the cards and look into that release real quick what's the release card about this person is is gonna leave you in that state and it could have something to do with um work like this could even be family like it could be something like you work with family or you're you employ family members and they're stealing something and it's just like this is family this family would never do that to me and it's like the life, the color, the the vibrancy of what you once believed to be is just starting to go away. You, yeah, you you used to feel real good, and now you're starting to reevaluate who you invest with or in. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. Oh my God, okay. We have the Emperor right there. Um, a new investment with the Queen of Pentacles. These two came out in pile one too, the Emperor and the Queen of Pentacles. This investment with this Queen of Pentacles is going to grow. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Their work will grow. You know, money's gonna grow on trees. Um, the Emperor could be looking at this person right now and they see this person um, like trying to balance. It's like, well, if they are so great, then why are they struggling financially? Probably because somebody's stealing their shit. Because they are small, right? Right now they're small. But they're, they, they have the ability to grow something big. But they have somebody stealing their ideas, probably um, somebody who's bigger than them. Okay. So it's like, oh, well, they're smaller than me. They, you know, nobody's going to listen. Nobody's going to care about them. This could be, yeah. This could be um, binding someone um, when it comes to their work online. Yeah, it could, it's blocking communication, blocking, shadow banning. It could be shadow banning as well. Someone um, to bind them so they can't grow. They can't be heard. That's what they're doing. They're, they, they kept doing that in hopes that this person would walk away. Let's look at this intellectual property theft. Mm. So whoever stole this intellectual property was hoping that they would this person would never see and that they would walk away before anyone would notice where the where the the content originated from um, and people are starting to 
see with the misunderstandings that the ideas were actually coming from this high priestess. This was her idea. These were her ideas. These were, you know, these were her creations. Let's look at this misunderstandings and miscommunication. Yeah, there was things that were hidden. There was things that were hidden. What was hidden? What was hidden? Queen of Cups. They could have been saying, okay, so... They were behind the scenes, remember, they were jumbled, they were, you know, weaving these lies about this person, and this was something that was hidden. Um, they wanted other people to misunderstand this person, not to, not to, they wanted other people to, what, like, see this person who was very, Loving and this person could be psychic as crazy, as very sexually promiscuous, as I will do anything to get on top. <laughs> you know, that's how that's what was being said about this person. There, but balance is here, justice is here to rebalance the situation because there were lies. Things are starting to get straightened out. Things are starting to get straightened out. Yeah, people are starting to go... Um, um, they're, try they're starting to go back into, like, things that were said in the past. They're reflecting on... on, on words that were spoken about this person and they're starting to realize that they were brainwashed whatever pile two's hater is they lied on this person because they wanted to sabotage their work they were stealing their ideas because they were smaller keep an eye on your money yeah, if you're thinking about um, working on a project with someone, you better watch your money because this person, it could be the emperor. The emperor is considering someone. Who are they considering? Oh, that card goes. He's con considering someone for a partnership. It could be a project. Okay, yeah. This person's thinking about um, keep an eye on your money. Somebody, this emperor's thinking about starting some kind of partnership with the person that was lied on and told this emperor is told that this person is crazy and is a gold digger and will do anything to get on top this person is promiscuous this this emperor is starting to see that this person really is about family that they bring a lot of joy and happiness and excitement to the workplace and whoever was lying on this person was only trying to get him to see this person's work, their creativity, as, as demonic and, and evil. <laughs> they wanted this emperor to not look at another person for a position. They didn't want this emperor to see another person. Yeah. 
Okay, so keep an eye on your money. They could be watching you. You're trying to keep an eye on your money because they want to see if this person has made you an offer. Something like that. Let's see what excited is about. Yeah, someone's about to be excited about a new per a new job. A new job opportunity for someone. Wow, that's cool. You're, gonna, you're about to be really excited. <laughs> yeah. That's why, okay, so going back to the butterfly energy. Okay, transformation. Someone's releasing um, and their life is about to transform. Okay, if you're frustrated right now, Develop a daily routine. Okay. Daily routine. What about the daily routine? Spirit wants you to spend some time in meditation. Focusing on like creating. Sit down and create. Stop running around. Sit your ass down and, and meditate. So this could be just quiet contemplation. So this could be for like an hour, 30 minutes before. Um, you know, if you wake up, maybe wake up 30 minutes earlier and spend some time in quiet meditation focusing on your creations because you have a lot of ideas that's why people want to steal them they want to have victory on your shit leaving you out with with nothing right but this emperor sees sees you man they 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 know you can make money This emperor, wow, okay, look at this. We have Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands, all upright. This emperor sees the potential in you. You're hardworking, can manage your money well. You're loving and giving and generous. You're creative. People, this emperor is starting to see that people were trying to hide this in you. So they could have been trying, the only queen we don't have right now is the, is the queen of swords. So they could have been talk, um, talking down on your, like, on your intellect. But this emperor sees so many other qualities in you. So the people were trying to attack your intellect, right? Now we have the six of swords. So yeah, we have the six of swords right there. They were attacking your intellect. Oh, this person's dumb. Don't listen to them. And this emperor sees that these were haters trying to hide who you really are. <laughs> this emperor is starting to see it. Okay. So yeah, pile number two. That's what I have for you. I hope this reading helped you in any way that it was supposed to. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the description box. There's more information down below. So if you want to contact me, you can do so and schedule your own personal if you feel called to do so, okay? But if not, and this is where I leave you, have a great one, pile number two. All right, pile number three. If you chose the octopus, this is your reading. All right, pile number three. So if you chose the octopus, this, the octopus the octopus spirit talks about um, maybe messy relationships because you 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 fail to have healthy boundaries. Okay. The octopus energy intertwines itself in other people's problems and other people's business, um, so it can get mixed up with things that it should probably not be involved with. 
involved in. <laughs> so it could okay. This I don't know why. It also talks about oversharing. You talk too much. You talk too much about like I was watching this. Oh my god! I need to start like writing down all the vid the videos that I watched because I forgot who it was and what the video was called and oh my god so anyways but he was talking about this guy was talking about um things you should never tell m men like that you're that you're dating and that not all men need to know all your your you know your traumas and your life story and just because you're dating does not mean that this man has should have access to those parts of of you okay those stories should only be shared with people who you can trust okay so you could sh overshare too much about your life um and i don't i don't know why but i'm i'm getting like you could be telling people that you people who you think you can trust and and, and shouldn't at the bottom of the cards I noticed you you know this person well and then on this side I can see it says relationships so yeah the octopus spirit talks about messy relationships due to lack of healthy boundaries so if you don't stand up for yourself and you let this person you don't speak up you let this person walk all over you you know no, we're always going to go here for dinner or no, we cannot go to your families, but we, we always can go to mine, that kind of energy, you know, um, you're not standing up for yourself. I'm also, oh yeah. Um, also talk, um, telling, telling someone you could be telling someone or wanting to tell someone, but maybe don't that I don't really feel comfortable with so-and-so coming over. I don't feel comfortable with so-and-so, you know, always being with us when we go places. You know, something like that. It could be a friend. It, I don't know. Whoever it is, you know this person well, and it, they're, they're kind of like get, intertwining. They're kind of getting involved in your relationships. But the, ener the octopus energy is here for you, pile three. Meaning that you are allowing um, other people to get into your, um, other people's tentacles to get into your relationship because you're not setting up those healthy boundaries, okay? Um, when this energy comes out for you, you have to pay attention to the people around you. So if you go out with a group of friends and you notice after I'm with them, I don't feel... I feel tired and I just got to sleep for, you know, a whole day afterwards. And I just, if these people drain you, you need to stay away from these people. Okay. You need to have healthy boundaries. These people will bring you stress, worry, insecurities will start flaring up. I mean, you, you need to do this for yourself, setting up healthy boundaries. Okay. When you're in balance with your octopus energy, you are interested, engaged. Yeah, like maybe you want to fit in. You allow people too much access to your personal life because you want to be accepted. When you're in balance with the octopus, because you know it's it's not a bad energy, but you know when you're when you're in a healthy octopus energy, you're interested and in other people, and you're engaged in what they're saying. Right now, you're very just like, Ugh. or this it could be how they feel about you. When you're out of balance. When you're out of balance, you're, you're really needy, clingy. You lack courage to set up those boundaries. Okay. So with the, I don't know why I'm getting the tentacles are so much. I have like in my mind, there's like so much going on, um, that it's hard for me to, you know, really 
get my thoughts straight. To bring this energy into balance, it's you need to be alone. You know, alone. Find some a space that you can be. Um, you can quiet things down. You don't want too much noise, like your partner, your friends, your family. You you need to shut them out and really um, kind of clear up your mind, clear up your thoughts and sort out your emotions, okay? You, this, this, this pile might need some, some talk therapy. You don't need, it's like therapy, I think people, people think, oh, well, if you go to therapy, it's because you're like fucked up, right? <laughs> no, like sometimes therapists, and I think people forget that therapists, sometimes all they do is help you understand your feelings and your thoughts. So that way you can start clearing up all the mess and, and sort them out nicely. So, you know, I do this because I fear, you know, abandonment, or I do this because I have a desperate need to feel accepted because I never felt that like it's just understanding all these things and your therapist will help you identify what you do in your life because of these things okay so you need this person whoever you are pile number three you need to take some time to really sort out your feelings your emotions your thoughts uh, what's yours because you could have people um, in your getting in your ear and you're thinking this oh yeah what they're trying to tell me I want is really what they want they just want me to believe that I want that and you're like oh hell no get out of here that's what you want that's not what I want so you need to quiet the noise so to bring this energy into balance, you need your own space, okay? Get somebody that you, that you, um, get somebody to talk to, talk therapy, man. I, I don't know why I feel the need to tell you if you don't have insurance and you don't know, I don't, I don't have a lot of knowledge about uh, those types of services but um, I would just be be careful who you talk to because right now like you're trying to get a, a way to silence the, the the noise so you can identify who your enemies are because you have people around you that that yeah that they're, they're not good for you pile number three okay so you really need to find a, a therapist or somebody that you can do do talk therapy with I don't know that's what the book said talk therapy um, and you need some alone time you need your own space where you can yeah you need you need your own space I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like I feel suffocated, like all these tentacles wrapping around your neck and just suffocating, you know, that's why I'm choking you. Oh my God. I don't know. Okay. Pile number three. Let's look into, let's pull some index cards and see what story wants to come out for you. Okay. First card we have, we have red car or truck. Chaos causes confusion. Remember, these people want to get in your head. They're trying to get their tentacles in, in your business. Red flag. Cheerful. DHS. Failed the test. Too much on your plate. And... Do you 
like me shooter with the shooter I'm getting that somebody shot took their uh, shot their shot <laughs> they took their shot do you cuz we have do you like me yes no maybe fuck out of here <laughs> how do you, do you like me okay so somebody with the red car truck um, chaos causes confusion somebody's like trying to create chaos confusing you this person could be like real cheerful in your face whoever has the red car or truck this is the person who is causing confusion because they're you know, you're like wait they're smiling in my face I'm hearing backstabbers the OJ's you know they smile in your face the whole time they want to take your place these are backstabbers these are your this is the cheerful person with the red truck or car this person's confused, trying to confuse you. There's a red flag. Red flag. Okay. Then we have DHS, Department of Homeland Security, failed the test. So somebody could have been applying for a position with DHS. You have too much on your plate. Do you like me, shooter? Okay, let's look into this. You know this person well. Let's look into this red tr car or truck. What can you tell us about the person that drives the red car or truck? This person's the devil. To, they wanted um they didn't want something to come in for you This isn't going anywhere. I heard this isn't going anywhere. Okay, so the person in the red car truck is the devil. This person did not want anything to go anywhere for you. It could be at work. It could be in a relationship. They, they wanted to have you waiting, waiting for something to to come of it, but it wasn't gonna go anywhere, right? This was always gonna come to an end. But this person thought that you would not know. They're, they're real, they're, this person is smart, right? This devil is very cunning. They thought you would never know that they were putting you in this energy of poverty. They could have been stealing your money. They thought you didn't know because they saw you as this page of cups, like you had your head in the clouds. You, you would never find out. You would never know better. You had your head in the clouds thinking that this relationship was everything that you wanted. But remember, the devil had you waiting. This isn't going to go anywhere. This relationship is going to come to an end. But this person had you believing that this was going to go somewhere this person's been stealing your money while you have too much on your plate juggling trying to figure out how to cover shit yeah you're penny pinching you're penny pinching for yourself i don't i i i don't have any money to get what i need but this motherfucker's spending all the money on other things you don't know how to get out of this situation you have a lot on your plate. That's about, that's what, that's what it says about this person with the red car truck. What's this cause, um, chaos causes confusion? They don't want you to gain clarity. They're trying to 
confuse you. They're trying to confuse you there. Yeah, they're trying to confuse your intuition. They don't want you to know that they're taking your money. Again, this person is, is cunning. He's smart. They don't want you to know. They could be they could be um, doing stuff behind the scenes to cause like all these money issues so that way you will lose your money. They want you shot, you know, in this energy of um, overwhelm. They want you to have a lot on your plate, worried about money, about Oh, it's saying black, okay, pregnancy. Pregnancy could be possible because they could try to. Be careful. Um, with the Nine of Wands, I'm just getting like, um, put up boundaries, blockages, deflect, deflect. <laughs> um, yeah, like. Wear a condom. Make sure that this person wears a condom or get birth control. Get birth control. Get on birth control because you don't want to have a baby with this person. You don't want to have a baby with this person. Man. Or maybe. Let's see. Oh, man. Really? As I picked up the deck, I saw the death. Okay, somebody might already be pregnant. They have a lot of that. Somebody, wow, damn. Somebody could be pregnant already. And you're you're you have a lot on your plate, man. It's a red flag. What's the red flag? What's the red flag? What's the red flag? The red flag is that this person isolates you. This person, you're thinking about traveling somewhere and this person isolates you. They don't let you travel where you want it. They don't let you. Yeah, like. It's almost like anywhere you go, it's just like, man, why do we have to go there? Yeah, you have to go wherever he goes or she goes. I, yeah, I'm getting it's a masculine who um, is controlling a feminine. This person wants to get away, but they don't know. They don't know what. Like, if I leave, I'm going to lose my job. And like, I don't know. This person has... This person is really stressed out. So they don't want to leave because they're afraid, but you know, they're pregnant. The red flag, when they start isolating you and keeping you away from your friends and family, the people that you know you really connect with, that's a huge red flag. Did they try to get into your head, man? This person, this person was trying to take your money and leave you, leave you with nothing, man. With nothing. I'm telling you, dude. Get away from this person. Don't worry about a job. You'll find a job somewhere else. Yeah, balance will be restored. You gotta, you got, but you have to want the balance. You have to make the changes to restore balance. What is, what is the change that you have to make? Stop trying to grow this relationship. It's not going anywhere. You're going to have to make a decision about your child. That is, you know, that is up to you what you want to do. But you were in, I, if you could be in a very tough situation with this person. 
and being pregnant is going to make mm, having a child is going to be difficult but it can be done okay it can be done it really depends on which path you choose to walk there's going to be challenges regardless whatever path you choose to take it, there's going to be challenges there's going to be challenges emotional and financial it's going to be it, it, being, a, being a single mother is hard it's hard but it can be done um it's really, it's really up to you if you're ready to take on that responsibility because it's gonna, it's gonna require you to focus a lot of your energy. But that's, that can be a good thing when you're trying to heal. Okay. Um. That can be a, that can be a, a good thing. But you have to be healing. You have to be actively trying to come out of this depression allow spirit to guide you there are things being done behind the scenes that you do not know about it's time to move away from that you could live with this person and it's time for you to move away from this person to hear the message that nothing is going to come of it could have been pretty devastating but spirit needs you to Yeah, spirit might need you to move away from this person. It's going to be a tough, tough decision. But nothing in life, unfortunately, is that easy, right? Sometimes you have to make tough choices. You have a lot on your plate. Let's look at this cheerful. What can you tell us about this cheerful card? saying that this 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 person in the red car truck could be really smiling in your face and you know they you know this person in their community could be having a good time on your dime these people again because remember whoever this person is they they They're taking money from you. They think you don't know. Or they think you're too foolish to figure it out. So they're having a good time while you're isolated. They think they're happy thinking that they have you fooled that, oh yeah, this is a happy relationship. But you know, you know it's time to move away from them, from this person. And I said them, these people. It could be these friends that are backstabbers. Okay. This person, okay, let's look at, did we look at too much on your plate? Work. Oh, the person that tried to like get at your dude. Um, this person you can work with them they they did they, they work with you and they're hitting their oh this per oh this other person yeah they work I heard um shifts so I don't know if you work with this person with your partner you work different shifts and whoever this person is messing, whoever your partner is messing around with is somebody that they work with who's on their shift, who works their shift. So they're having a whole damn relationship with another person. They have you at home. They have you at home. 
and they're with their work wife or work husband. And then when they, when you go to work, they're at your house with this person. Damn. Something about this person, they, they could have tried to apply with the Department of Homeland Security for, with the DHS and they failed the test. What's DHS failed the test? Don't focus on gender. Um, so this could be a masculine who's in this Queen of Wands um, energy. So whatever they do for work, they could have been considering this. They could they could have thought that this position would bring them a lot of financial success. They. The Queen of Wands is very confident, thinking that, oh, I've got this, I've got this, you know. But they failed the test. This could have been a childhood dream. couple different things so let's 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 put this up and, and look at these real a little bit more carefully okay let's let's start by just pulling for DHS what's DHS Knight of Swords what's Knight of Swords or, I'm sorry, what's DHS? Just fill the test. Sorry, I'm not taking all these. Let's fill the test. Let's fail the test. Okay. Mm. They failed the test. They were on a some kind of assignment. Like, what do you have to like? I don't know how it fucking works. They put you on an assignment. If you can accomplish this, you're in. This person failed. It's like they had to turn back. Like they, they're like, man, I've been caught. So this guy, pile number three, I this could be a this is just something I'm getting. It doesn't have to be true. But this person. If they were on some kind of assignment for DHS and they had to turn tail and run, like this person could be like abandoning you. This person could just like run off one night while you're sleeping. You're sleeping and you think they're gonna go to work and they fucking take off. I'm getting, they leave everything behind and move move on because they, they're not going to stay they're not going to stick around like where if they were there with you they could have been on some kind of assignment and they failed whatever they did they failed and now they have to move on yeah it's coming to an end mm. wow this is crazy I've never had mm. it's crazy yeah so this person could like just might just never come back what do you like me? This is somebody that he worked with, yeah. They were they were messing around with somebody they work with. 
Yeah, definitely somebody that they work with. They might run off with somebody that they work with. Yeah, partnership. Leaving you stranded. Wow. Wow. They might run off with this person. You know, they failed their assignment. They're running off. They might run off with this person. What's the shooter? Yeah, somebody shot, took their shot. How do you say it? Shoot, shoot your shot. They shot their shot. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, they. It grew. It grew. When this person got at your dude, they. It, this connection grew, and now this person's turning around while you're sleeping, and ending things with you. Damn. Like I said, this person just gonna just take off they're gonna leave all their shit behind they're just gonna take their car and go <gasps> Ooh. What the? What can you tell? I just heard he has the car yeah he has the car so you wow Pile number three, you have some tough choices to make. You, I, if, this has, if this has not happened yet, you would be smart to untangle yourself from these other people around you and go off on your own. This person is going to leave you high and dry. And they're gonna run off with the person that they have been messing around with. So, damn. Let's see if we can get you some advice, pile number three. Advice for pile number three. Advice for pile number three. Chase after your own happiness, man. Stop expecting other people your partners, your friends, your family. It's up to you to find your own happiness, okay? You keep breaking your own heart, man. Getting into conflict because you don't trust yourself. Spirit spirit wants you to isolate, pull yourself away from other people. Maybe even your partner. You could live with this person, so it could be hard. How am I going to get away from this person? I don't have a car. I'm stuck in this house. You know, there's a lot going on. It, you have to call on your, on your, ask for help. It's okay to ask for help, okay? It's okay to ask your family for help. Um, but don't, don't lean on other people too much it's it's telling you you have to take responsibility and take power and control of your own life do not allow other people to manipulate you and control you um and don't don't share too much information it's like don't overshare don't get in involved in other people's business and other people's problems because their problems their business all the everything that goes on will start to bleed into your world and that's what could have happened you guys could have been friends co-workers you invited this person in and they took advantage next thing you know they're running off with your dude you overshare i keep hearing that you overshare you give too much i don't know man spirit wants you to take control of your um take power of your own life you know take the power into your own hands stop giving it to other people pile number three okay all right pile number three don't forget to like share subscribe don't forget to check out the description box there's more information down below so you can schedule your own personal reading is it if you feel called to do so okay guys but if not and this is where i leave you have a great one guys